looking for the good side in people. Hello you all, I'm Diana Breanne and I am sitting out here on my porch. It's a beautiful, beautiful day and it's hard to believe that it is winter. Winter, winter, winter. I mean, it's hard to believe it. And I'm enjoying it. I still haven't taken down my porch and outside decorations yet. So if you see wires on the ground, because it's daytime, the Christmas lights are turned off. And I will finish taking down my ornaments probably over the next week. And I did take a lot of decorations down already, but I still have my tree up and my outside decorations. And um, so I got to thinking about difficult people, challenging people, looking for the good side in people, the very, very best that we can. And, you know, sometimes it's very difficult to uh, find the good in someone, especially when they're being very, very challenging and difficult and I know for me I, I look for the good in whoever I meet I really do I look for the good in people I want to find the best you know I always know that there's something good in everyone or at least I believe but sometimes we have to search really really deep to find it some people have such personality flaws at least on the surface we don't even want to go past the surface but if we do try to go past the surface even sometimes then we have to dig really really deep and we may or may not find it but I do believe that regardless it is there you know there's good personality characteristics and just about everybody that we meet but you know sometimes it's just harder to find those qualities in some people some people it's really easy the other day i was talking to somebody and you know they had i just i normally don't shut my door like that but being that i'm holding the camera i did <laughs> and um normally what you know we look at people superficial superficially when we first meet them and so for me um i try to always remember regardless of what a person looks like good i mean whether they're really attractive what i consider attractive or whether i don't consider them attractive that there's good qualities in there somewhere and we should not base someone's personality or who they are because we think that they're really attractive or and likewise we should not think someone is not a good person not a nice person not a person worth knowing or not knowing a person we think well we shouldn't know get to know them because they don't look as attractive as somebody else in our opinion i believe that that people um, you know, people are complex and yet they're very simple. And, you know, if we scratch below the surface, we will usually find what we're looking for, good or bad. And so for me, I try to go below the surface um, and discover the good. So as I was saying, I met this one person the other day and, you know, they had some issues and I kind of got to thinking, okay, do I want to get to know this person better? Well, I don't think we have a lot in common for me to pursue a friendship, but I did want to know a little bit more about them. And what I discovered was that they were an amazing person, that they had so many amazing, wonderful qualities, and they had such a really, really good heart. And so that kind of made um, me remember that people do have great qualities. People do have great, um, great things about them when we dig a little deeper, when we look a little deeper. But there's other people that I have met that I have scratched and scratched and looked and looked for their um, better qualities. And I either didn't find it at the level that I, you know, dug deep into, um, or it just wasn't worth it for me to get past those barriers. You know, I think sometimes people put up barriers because they don't want people to get close to them. And so sometimes when someone's nasty on the surface, they just really maybe in some cases don't want us to get close to them at all. And my camera's a little bit crooked here because my selfie stick, we just ordered a new one and I'm waiting on it. And this one is broken. So I'm it's wobbly and everything else. So 
I put my camera on a selfie stick when I walk around. And so, yeah, you know, I think it's, for me personally, it's important to scratch below the surface before I, you know, make my judgment about a person because most often I'll find wonderful qualities. Now, when I find those wonderful qualities, are those wonderful qualities worth me overlooking their bad qualities? And often it's not. Often some people have significant um, challenges and difficulties personality-wise that I just don't want to go past that or I don't no matter what their good qualities are I, I recognize their good qualities but I don't want to be around their bad qualities and unfortunately their bad qualities often overshadow their good qualities I mean sometimes people can help Oops, sorry sorry sorry, sorry. Went, there it went okay <laughs> hopefully after tomorrow we don't have this camera problem and uh, so yeah you know sometimes we have to um, decide you know is the relationship worth it is the relationship worth me staying in there and overlooking the bad or is the bad too strong that I don't want to overlook it for the good you know it's a personal choice well anyhow I just thought I would discuss that topic with you and yes we ordered a brand new really good selfie stick and it's coming through the mail and should be here tomorrow and uh this one I, I by mistake i broke it the other day and so i'm still working with it but it's really challenging to work with this one so thank you for bearing with me and i hope you subscribe to my page my channel i have pages and i have channels so this is a channel so i hope you subscribe to my youtube channel from my house to yours god bless you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.